Hello guys, Hello ladies, welcome to this new video I'm going to start here, just a minute. Today I'm going to be reviewing a crustless pizza. I don't know what the heck this thing is or why it exists, but I'm going to try it. Literally is just cheese and sauce and pepperoni. This isn't a pizza. It's just a thing put together. I honestly don't understand why the heck they would make this. Yeah. It's weird. It's, it's not the worst thing I've had, but it's not the greatest. It's just cheese and sauce. So what? It's not pizza, though. It's my honest review. Of this, I mean, I don't know what you guys think. Yeah. Sorry about leaving halfway through. Now we're going to be doing a proficiency score on how it is. On looks, I'm going to honestly give this thing, I'm going to probably say, a four. Four, because it's just a blob. It's nothing special about it. Taste, I'll be a little bit more genuine on this. I'll probably give this a six. Overall quality. I don't know, I'll probably say like a 7.5. I mean... Again, there's my quality thing on it, on the crustless pizza. Not the worst thing I've had, but guys, thanks for watching, and this is my review on the Brew Pizza crustless pizza. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Here's my custom-made go-kart. Starting about, it has like some ATV-style tires all the way around here. If you look about that. So basically, a story of like, yeah, this tube frame and engine back here. So the story of how this came about. So my grandparents had, so my grandparents had this greenery that they were about to take down. There's this frame sitting in the barn. So probably since the eighties. So then I basically, we welded up this frame, made, put a motor in it and the sprockets, CVT drive in it, had to make some brake mounts for it, that brake set up, suspension mounts, fabricated it, it's got some shocks here, this roll cage, so yeah, when I was younger, when I was about like, I would say in fifth grade, I developed this thing, it was like probably like 2016 I was building this go-kart, I've had it for a long time yet, it was built, and anyways, an interesting build I mean I don't yeah those fender and for those asking no those fenders are not very useful they don't work very good they only work on like the turns it's a pretty cool project I mean I, I enjoy driving this thing I mean you could you could drift around the corners and stuff I mean it goes about 30 the only problem is I was is the sprocket is a little bit too tall I mean it, it's got a lot of torque but it just it only could go like 30 miles an hour it's not very fast it's a Predator 212 engine in there. And now we're going to get to showing you start it here at run for a bit. 
Now let's not be dumb, turn the gas on here. All right. Make sure it's on. They're on. Come on. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hey, hey! Oh, it's a pain to sleep. Um, I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's not wanting to start very good today. I have to turn the choke on there. like to do is run it out of gas when I'm done using it for the day so that it doesn't like fuel doesn't clog up in the car. That's what I suggest doing. See how long it goes. Now the fuel is shut off here. There you go. It took us a minute to shut off. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching the story of my go-kart. I'm an actor. Of course I'm telling you to subscribe to Mason's channel and like his videos on acting. Do it. Do it now!